you, Thomas, for doing this. Uh, tough one to do after a, a game like this. Just put in perspective um, uh, your thoughts on this one and and how it uh, sort of got away from you. Yeah, I mean, we just gotta we just gotta turn the page on this one. Obviously, we're a young group. It's a little harder at times, but um, I mean, tomorrow's a new day. We really gotta. Um, look at uh, whatever happened in the game and, and we move on from there and we want to be better as a group. Definitely. That's for sure. Um, but I mean, at the, at the end of the day, those are the games that you turn the page on and you move on. Is there uh, a, a fear of frustration setting in and maybe a tiny bit of panic, or is that uh, something that you'll all talk about and uh, try to overcome? No, I think we'll do that as a group. We'll take care of that in, uh, uh, in the inside altogether. Um, I mean, those, those are the things right now where, uh, we, we, we want to, we definitely, we always say it and I think we've said it for a while. We, uh, we want to grow, grow that group and, and obviously we'll learn from what we, we, we did. And, um, all we have to do is turn the page and, and get, get right at it. It's more practice. Thank you. Final, final hand is Ian Mendez of the athletic. Uh, yeah, Thomas, I think sometimes it's important if, uh, you can give an assessment of your own game. So if you could kind of maybe, you know, look at your own game tonight. How would you how would you say that to, that you played tonight yourself? Obviously, a uh, tough one in the first period. Obviously, but uh, I mean, it's part of the game. You gotta uh, you gotta move on from there and come back. And obviously, when uh, came back in the second and third, we would try to play hard, try to win your battles, move the puck up. And obviously, um, I mean, that, that, that's all we gotta do. That's all we gotta focus on. And then same thing for myself. You gotta uh, learn from those and, and make sure you you bear down the next one. Okay, thank you, Thomas. Appreciate your time. Sure. Um, is this a situation where, you know, throughout this game and certainly in the latter stages of the game, your play uh, just tries to keep everybody in the fight? Is that the way you sort of approach when a game gets out of hand? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, from top to bottom on our team, there's no there's no quit. There's no give up. So, you know, we're playing right to the last minute. It's, you know, it's unfortunate. The score is 5, 6, 7, 1, but you know, we've been on a little bit of a skid here too. And there's only, you know, so much, so much losing you can take for whatever the, whatever the reasons are and whatever the scores are in the games, you know, losing sucks. And, um, you know, it doesn't feel good to have a, have a team put up five, six, seven goals on you in their own building. And, you know, we're, we're going to fight till the, uh, until the last whistle for sure. With that said, is there um, a level of anticipation that rises knowing that you get to play these guys again in 48 hours? Some for sure. I think, you know, anybody that's been around, played playoff series or, um, you know, some home and homes, whatever. Um, you. you know, we just got done with the first game. Um, the next game is a, is a brand new one. We'll take what we can, and, you know, learn from it, pick up on our, uh, on our mistakes. If there's anything that we did well and, um, you know, we'll move forward to winning the next game. The most important thing right now is the two points. Obviously you play, you know, back to back or three game sets. There's definitely emotion that comes with it. And, um, you know, you never know how it's going to play out, but you know, the, the most important thing is the two points always. Thank you. Are there any additional questions for Austin, Austin this evening? Oh, we'll go back to Gord Wilson. Sorry, last one here for you, Austin, just uh, talk about the goal. Uh, you got two here now on the season and, um, uh, it, it's just a simple case of going to the front of the net and hoping things go well. Yeah, absolutely. As a, as a big guy, as a, you know, power forward, that's where, that's where I got to go. I got to go to the front of the net. And, um, you know, I thought there were times there where we did a good job of controlling some of the play in the offensive zone. And, you know, when, when the D are able to get pucks through and, you know, we got to have traffic there and the goalies are too good in this league. If you don't provide traffic and, um, you know, get in their kitchen a little bit, they'll, uh, they'll see and stop everything. So just trying to do my part in that way, just get in front of the net and uh, create a little havoc. Okay, thanks, Austin. Appreciate your time. Yep, thanks. <clears throat> to all the media, that concludes our post-game availability. Please check the Sense Communications Twitter account for the update to tomorrow's schedule. Thanks, everyone. Have a good rest of the night.